Hey guys, Hello Ejima called the lead counsel to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has filed a commuter application at the Federal High Court, Abuja, against the Director General of the State Security Service, SSS, Yusif Puchi. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Aloy Ejimako, the lead counsel to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has filed a commuter application at the Federal High Court, Abuja, against the Director General of the State Security Service, SSS, Yusif. The commentary application known as Form 48 is a notice of the consequences of disobedience to the order of court. The court had ordered the SSX to allow the defense team to visit Kano three times a week and also permit five of his lawyers to make such visits. Justice Bin Tanyako had on May 20, 2024, while refusing Kano's application to restore his bill, made the order modifying the conditions of the lawyer's visitations. This modified order, according to the, the court, was aimed at expounding the opportunity for the defense team to adequately prepare him for trial in a way that would ensure that he gets a fair trial. In addition, the court ordered that Kano be permitted by the SSX to consult with his lawyers and that such consultation should be done in a clean room at the SSX facility where he is being detained. The order which was quell to the charge marks H. FC H FHC slash ABJ slash CR slash three eight three slash twenty fifteen. Between the Federal Republic of Nigeria complainant slash respondent and Mazi Namdekanu, the defendant slash or stroke applicant was made available to the guardian. At the weekend. But the Jeffrey alleged that these orders were being breached by the DSS and so file the Form 48. He reads, take notice that unless you obey the directions contained in the order, you will be guilty of contempt of court and will be liable to be committed to prison. <laughs> Nigeria has become a laughing, a laughing stock before the international community. These people, they don't obey court order. I don't understand. They are bigger than the law. They are bigger than the courts. So who do you blame? Nigerian government do not obey court orders. DSS, no, they obey court orders. Even the EFCC, they know they obey court orders. Once they are just there as director of the boards, the chairman, they become the god. This is unfair. And it's reducing us every day. All these things, they reduce Nigeria every day. We not come, it be like soup, one down sour. Our taste don't reduce. I don't even know where to face. Even if, I'll make the court talk self, say the person they guilty. This matter now, when then they talk, now matter when they don't talk, go. Now, Nigerian government is starting afresh. In this very Mazenam the Kanu's case, yesterday, uh, I dropped the video in my channel here when Oriwa was asking Nigerian government, he said, Why are you being hypocritic? The, your AGF, uh, AGF, uh, what's in the name? Um, Lagbaja said, and uh, the Kano uh, case is a very difficult one that the court will determine its fate. Exactly the same language used by the former president of Nigeria, 
Muhammad Buhari. And when court did that, he said, no, Nam the Kanu cannot go. This government now, they don't they use them. Ruri Wa was asking him. Now, the same terrorism charge was against the Mieti Hala president, Bodijo. And you withdrew the you, you you withdrew the case. You set him free. What exactly is the problem? Is he is he is he is it that you have a I don't know, is it a, a particular hatred? I don't know how to put it like you just have this hatred on this person, or you just have this hatred because Namdekan is an evil man. Now they asked that question yesterday. I dropped the video in my channel there. It was one of those videos I dropped yesterday. You know, when I was reading it, I felt it. What do you do to Mr. A? Do it to Mr. B. Don't treat Mr. A differently and you treat Mr. B differently and tomorrow you will come and tell us that the constitution says this. Nigeria is one, right? Are we even preaching what, are we doing what we are preaching? Are we acting to what we are preaching or we are just saying it because we, are, we want to just say it for the same sake? This DSS, keep on disobeying court orders. You want to jail Nam the Kano at any cost. You don't even want to wait for the court to pronounce it. You just did that. They do your doings. Anyway, then they talk one thing, one are they like, and that thing is very correct. No matter how long you stay in this life, this life, this journey is too short. So why choose doing evil? Why choose doing evil to people? You understand? I am not even talking about make people to use you, stand for the right path. Do something because it's the right thing to do. You don't need to please anybody. Do that thing because that is the right thing to do. I they like this slogan when they, they talk, say, if you lie, you will die. If you talk true, you will die. So all death now, all die now die, yes. So why do you want to choose the bad way? When they say tomorrow, when you don't go the other way, when you look back, all the atrocities you have committed, you will start regretting. Now that one be the, the air fire when they talk so. You've been in anguish. Your sorrow, even there. Your soul, even there. Your spirit, okay, it's no longer so. Your spirit over there will not even see no peace when you are no longer here because you refused to do the right thing. It doesn't cost anything to do the right thing. Why can't you just do it? So, guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.